Hey y'all, welcome to day number two of the AI Agent Challenge where I'll be going through 30 days of 30 AI agents to help you grow and scale your business, streamlining operations, and make it easy for you to generate revenue online. Today, what we're gonna be diving into is a process of marketing content on social media using AI agents. Primarily, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking new sources of information, areas of interest that you're into, and then we're gonna use AI to process that information and then post that online. We're gonna be doing make.com and making that happen. So with that being said, let's dive into it, shall we? Go here, open that up, and boop, hello. <laughs> So what we have here are folders. Again, we're gonna be using these folders right here to keep things nice and organized. I'm gonna create a new scenario inside of this 30 day AI agent challenge folder. Hit the new button. And we're gonna name this, we'll say uh, day two. Day two, we'll call this uh, news feed to LinkedIn post. All right, great, we're gonna hit save. There we go. And we always start with this blank module here and it says, what do you, what do you want to get started with? What we're going to be working on is creating a news feed, a news feed of information so that we can get this data coming in primarily using Google alerts this time around. So we're going to go inside of here and we're going to look for an RSS feed, which allows us to look for anytime data changes or things happen, it will grab that RSS feeds. For example, like I have a podcast and whenever I post anything on my Squarespace, there's an RSS feed that grabs that podcast and then redistributes it online across many different channels like Google Play, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, all that jazz. So this is an RSS feed and a way to get access to it. We can see that we can have a maximum number of returns right here. We can have whatever number we want, 10, but for right now we're gonna leave this at one. And now we need to go make our RSS feed from Google Alerts. So we're gonna to go to google.com here and we're gonna type in Google Alerts. Awesome. So we have the Google Alerts right here. We're gonna click on this button here and we can type in whatever we're looking here for a Google Alert. Let's just say, for example, we are looking for, let's say, AI news. Seems topical. We're gonna grab this and down here is a show more button. What this does allows you to customize the Google alerts and allows you to go through say at most once a day or when it happens, let's just say as it happens, we can do sources. So it gives you different sources like books and news and blogs and webs and all that jazz, different languages, a region, which basically means US or anywhere else. We're gonna leave it as any region. How many, only the best results or all the results. And then here, where do you wanna send this Google Alert? A lot of times you can just have it be sent to your email, but what we want is an RSS feed. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna to click to RSS feed and we're gonna hit create alert. So if we click on this RSS feed right here, we can see that this is all of the news and articles coming in around AI. We'll hit copy. So now we've got this RSS feed and we're gonna go into here and we're gonna paste this URL link inside of here. Once we do that, we can say, let's say from all our all, our, all RSS feed items here. And we're gonna run this once to see what we're getting. Run once, processed, take a look at it. All right, so Moderna has big news, is the stock to buy? And so there's just some information here. There's not a summary, but we have a URL and some other the data. So great, wonderful. We have that, that's awesome. So then the next step here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create a chat GPT open AI module like we did before. And thankfully we should all have our own APIs now that we can plug right into. And we're gonna cl click create a completion. I'm gonna leave the same API key I was using before the email responder. And we're gonna pick a model, whatever model we want to. These are all various ones. I like the GPT-4 right here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click that one and we're gonna add a message. Again, there's three types of messages for ChatGPT. There's the system messages that we can see right here, which means, you know, kind of creates the context around what is the thing. Then we have the user, which is who you are using ChatGPT and putting the information. And then the assistance, which is the back and forth. It's the AI responding to you. So we're gonna do a system prompt. And we're gonna tell it what it is. Say, and you can see here, this is all of the feed items that are coming in through the RSS feed here that we can bring in. So if we wanna bring in like a title, we could, but we're not gonna use that right now. We're gonna close that. 
Pop, pop back up. Yep, pop back up. So system content here for the system messages. You are a helpful social media content creator creator for uh, LinkedIn posts. Let's just do that. We're going to add another message here as the role of the assistant. So you're starting to dial in is you are monitoring uh, news feeds for any news related to AI and your job is to take the news feed and convert it into a post on LinkedIn. Now, we could always go like a layer deep, deeper and say, you are doing this for DylanJWatkins.com in AI and automation agency. Be sure to include a call to action at the end of the LinkedIn post offering any businesses that want to leverage AI in their business to take the free AI automation assessments at dillonwatkins.com forward slash quiz. Great. All right. So we hit the next messaging and we'll say here is the user. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to paste in the information inside of here. We'll put in the, the title, the description, the URL, if they have it inside of here and there's any summary information, but we can include that if we'd like, but let's leave that as is. We're going to hit okay. Oh, max tokens, max tokens. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do a thousand. Now that's, that's probably too much. It's 500 tokens. It's plenty. Now we're going to run once and let's just see what we get uh, for the AI. And what we want to do here is we're going to right click this first. We're going to rename this as do, 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 news writer for LinkedIn. Great. We're going to run once, see what we get. Now it's hitting the RSS feed and then going over the open AI here, processing that information and we have an output. Here we go. Navigate to landscapes. Okay. If you're still on the fence, let's have a conversation. Get your free automation assessment at Dylan J. Watt quiz today and discover how. So that's awesome. Let's just say we're happy with that. We want to use that. We could always include links and we could cross reference it for many different uh, social media platforms, but let's just say, yes, that's good. We're happy. We want to get this over to LinkedIn. So I'm going to again, double click here. We're going to open up the LinkedIn module and click on the LinkedIn here at the top. And we could say create a user text post, image post, video post, so forth and so on. We're going to do user text post. I will log into this. And all we need to do is go here, go down to choices. And we can see that this is the writer for LinkedIn messages. Hit content. There we go. Now, a little auto align. This is the auto align button. Makes it easier and nice and pretty. There's a bunch of other things that we could do with this. Uh, we could always drop into a Google Sheet and cross-reference it beforehand. We could add in more data in another, another video. I'll actually show you how to customize these to write them more in your voice. But for right now, to get this over and across to LinkedIn here, I'm going to run this once. And I have my LinkedIn opened up over here. And we're going to run once and let's see what happens. It goes here. It's the news writer. It's going to go over to LinkedIn in just a couple of seconds and boom, there we go. LinkedIn post, check it out. Go here, click on my buy. Oh, go here at the bottom and uh, we can take a look at this. I'll have some featured information and uh, okay. We just got this post right now. News, Humane, known for its innovative 700,000 uh, AI pins, seeking a buyer. Awesome. Take our free ass assessment quiz here at DylanJWatkins.com and unlock the potential of AI in your organization today. So that 
is how you do it. It's a very simple process of going from the news feed across to ChatGPT, summarizing that, and then kicking out to LinkedIn. Very useful, very practical, and you can have that run on autopilot. Again, you could use the no, no yapping prompt if you want to be streamlined. And in another video, I'll actually show you how to make a customized GPT uh, using the API assist model and be able to have it write more in your voice to get the output that you're exactly looking for. But with that being said, uh, this is the end of day number two, AI agents, 30 day challenge. Like, comment, subscribe, and leave any comments down below on what you want me to cover during this challenge as we go through the next 30 days on this journey together. Thank you so much, much love, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye now.